She was a hater. She was jealous. She was hateful. Okay? Um, by the way, if you're like that, then, like, leave. Leave. Shoo-shoo. Go. Go home. Okay? Um. Uh Hey everyone, it's Yasmin Willen and welcome back to my channel. I have been getting uh, DMs and comments from a bunch of my subscribers here on YouTube in regards to Sophia Abraham actually posting a uh, anti-bullying video on her YouTube channel. So I decided to go ahead and tune into this video that everyone wants me to watch and everyone wants my thoughts on it. So I watched it today. Oh my gosh. I am going to be doing a video about addressing the rumors that have been going on for quite a while now. So first of all, I did not kill my dog. Let's just say that right now. And he wasn't barking, but he still had a smile on his face. And, and if you guys are jealous and you guys probably don't have a mom like mine, then just keep your thoughts to yourself. And I'm sorry to all of you if your parents or mom has raised you wrong. She was a hater. She was jealous. She was hateful, okay? Oh, and by the way, if you're like that, then like, leave. Leave, shoo shoo, go, go home, okay? Uh that video was like actually kind of disgusting because it's coming from, it's coming from a 10 year old, but I know Farah is coaching Sophia to say these things. In the video, Sophia's attitude was a little bit, a little too like Farah, if you will. She was like smacking her lips. She was going like this with her hands and like just being crazy. And I'm like, wow, that's definitely Farah 2.0. Now, starting off in the video, uh, Sophia talked about how people accuse her of actually murdering their family dog, Blue. I believe that was the dog's name. Sophia started crying and she stated that it hurts her feelings at the fact that people think that she actually killed their family dog. Now, there has been sources of valid sources stating that Sophia helped aid in the, you know, death of the dog. The dog was supposedly already sick, but Sophia took the dog and threw it off the balcony and that's like literally what done it in, you know, for the dog. So Sophia was crying, just stating how it hurts her feelings at the fact that people just think that she killed her dog. Now, she kind of went out on like a little bit of a rant, everyone, and she was just saying how everyone are haters, everyone is haters, how everyone is nothing but bullies how people lie about her and her mom and she's literally just like you know people can just get out of my platform if you don't like what you have to or if you don't like the content I put out you can just like bye go home goodbye you're all haters you're all bullies we're celebrities we're this we're that and like her attitude as a 10 year old kid was like literally out of this world the crazy thing is you can literally hear Farah like standing to the side of the video while Sophia is filming. So she's actually condoning this and she's just like, oh, Sophia, I'm so proud of you. You go, girl. And she's like snapping photos of Sophia like with the poly a Polaroid or something like that. I will make sure I link the YouTube video in my description box so you all can just see the entirety of it. But I was just shocked at the fact that Sophia was talking so like adult-like and just so like ma mature but in like a wrong way she was just kind of being a little bit rude which I don't want to like really blame Sophia because she only knows what Farrah teaches her I think Farrah needs to take Sophia out of certain equations if you want to address the hate if you want to address bullying that's great I stand for that but as a parent I would definitely do that either with my child in a video together or just do it just by myself. I wouldn't let my 10 year old go on the, the internet. The internet can be so cruel and just kind of address haters and actually leave the comments up. If you go on the video, to my knowledge, still, the comments are still up there. So I think it's kind of sick how Farah is kind of just teaching Sophia to do certain things. I don't necessarily agree with that. But yeah, you all, you guys go see the video for yourself. Sophia was just like, you know what? I'm sorry, like... If your mom doesn't take you on like lavish trips around the world like my mom does, like I'm sorry for that, but we're not to blame for that. So like, don't come on my page, don't come hating on me and my mom because we're like celebrities. Like she's literally saying all this stuff. 
Sophia, it's 10 years old. Why are you speaking like that? Like, girl, this is crazy. That entire video was so crazy. So I am not going to ramble about it anymore. I gave you all my thoughts. I don't agree with it. Farah is wrong for like letting Sophia just do that. She's throwing Sophia to the wolves. I think that Farah should definitely stop that and just try to dial it back a little bit not let Sophia be so involved in social media and just let Sophia be a kid. If there's something important to say, Farrah should say it herself or sit down with Sophia and do it together. But don't let your child just go on like this platform and just speak, speak mindlessly and speak crazy because that was not a positive video. Seriously, it really wasn't. So what do you all think about this situation? Go watch the video and come back to my comments and just let me know what you think about Sophia and the entire video. Do you agree with it? Do you not agree with it? Thank you all so much for tuning in. I'm Desiree Woodland. And until next time, I will see you all in my next video. See you all.